guys, Crystal here. Welcome to my channel. So today we're going to go ahead and talk about my weight loss journey, i.e. how I lost weight. And then in a different video, I'm going to go ahead and talk about how to maintain your weight loss. So this is going to be a long video. Let's just get started. A couple of things before we get started. If you are new to my channel, you're going to see this little rose thing here. I dry my plants. Don't judge me. Um, another thing, I went ahead and I actually went hard on the notes here. This was recommended and I never thought about making a video like this. If you've been around for a long time, you would have known that I was heavier. Okay, I have lost weight. You probably can't tell because the shirt that I'm wearing is quite baggy, but I mean, there you go. I definitely have lost a lot of weight. I went from weighing between, it's embarrassing to say it, 185 to 190 and now I weigh 125. So I'm going to tell you guys a bunch of different things. So we are going to go over the things you should know before we get started. What I did to lose weight, we're obviously going to talk about the food girl, what to eat, breakfast, lunch, dinners, and snacks, and things that I do not eat. We're also going to go ahead and talk about my super simple and super fast workout routine to get you started and toned. We are also going to go ahead and talk about my more intense workout routine. You do not want to try this if you're a beginner. And then that will be it for this video. And then in the next video, we'll talk about how I maintain my weight loss and some advice. So let's get started with this video here. So if you're not already, please click subscribe so that you can go ahead and get notified of all of my videos. Click the little bell button and you will get notified of the video that comes up next, which is going to be how I maintained it, my weight loss, and uh, yes, like this video so I know that you guys liked it because trust me when I said I went ham on writing these notes, it took me two hours to do so. I will definitely go ahead and try to insert pictures too throughout the video of befores and afters of me so you can see that. And I never really thought that I would make this video in all honesty but it was requested and now I'm thinking about it like, you know what girl, I should definitely do so because I was doing this weight loss journey and I always kept it to myself. So I'm going to go ahead and share my secrets with you guys so that you can go ahead and be successful with this weight loss journey too. If you see me looking down, it's just because I'm referring back to my notes. I want to make sure that I get every piece of advice as possible into this video because there's a lot to take in and I want this video to be not only helpful but kind of like a guide for you guys. You know, guides are helpful. I wish I knew this crap whenever I was going through it, you know? I've always been thick or slim thick. You know, my original weight was around, you know, I, it's so embarrassing to say it, but I'm just going to say it. I weighed maybe about like 135, 140, and I'm a short girl, okay? I'm 4'11", so I mean, you know, yeah. And I have a bum and some thighs. <laughs> I got chiches, okay? So, um, I was kind of thick, but I wasn't too thick around my belly. However, I weighed around 135 to 140 and then I had two babies back to back. Two almost 10 pound babies. <laughs> Thank you, Wes. Um, so yes, I did gain around 30 to 40 pounds and it was definitely embarrassing. I did get teased. I still do get teased to this day when people go to my past pictures and see that shit I still get made fun of which really did make me insecure about my appearance so after I had my first baby I was already going to try to you know work off the baby fat and everything like that but no 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 so God did bless me with another child like right after my first child so yes I did you know have two babies which made me gain even more weight so by the end of both of my babies I was about 185 to 190 it was it's and it looked horrible because I'm short I'm 4'11 like I said so it was not flattering on me in any way so like I said we're gonna be covering different topics here we're gonna be covering like my eating habits my workouts um what I did to go ahead and lose the weight and then in my next video we're going to talk about how to maintain it so two pieces of advice that you should definitely know is one that although you are wanting to lose weight you do want to take things slow you don't want to go super drastic or anything like that because you're going to shock your body and you may fail 
so just being blunt you take it slow second thing is you want to make sure that what you are doing is going to fit your needs if you're bigger and you want to be muscular and toned grab the weights honey grab the weights if you're just trying to slim down and be toned hold off on the weights because one thing that you need to know is that muscles weigh a lot more than fat so while yes you'll be losing weight after a certain time the fat will be gone and will now be muscle and if you keep using weights you'll gain weight within muscle so if you're one of those people that look strictly at numbers i would stay away from the weights for right now another thing that i really do want to say is that i am a person of habit so whenever i find something that i like i tend to stick to it the problem with that though is that when your body gets used to something you're going to stop seeing results so i'm giving you guys different options to go ahead and trick your body to like switch things up with food wise you know so let's just get started chapter by chapter I try my best to leave time stops in the description box if you want to see it but there's no promises what did i do to lose weight first of all i don't believe in a diet i did that shit when i was a teenager and i'm not going back like no i eat what i want to eat but i portion myself so i'd rather eat let's say come on guys like you know what portions is instead of getting a large fry get a small fry instead of getting four enchiladas get two enchiladas come on be smart about it and like i said i will definitely be giving you guys um meals later in the video another thing that i did was add fruits and vegetables i was very um, lacking on that part of the food group i did not eat a lot of veggies or fruits i don't know why i hate fruits i'd rather eat vegetables than fruits but if you'd rather eat fruits than vegetables do you boo but it's good to have a balance so that's what i did and let me tell you girl i'm picky as fuck another thing is that if you eat out every day you're gonna look like you eat out every day so slim it down honey slim it down so when I first got started, like I said, I was a bigger girl. So I did incorporate a workout and this workout is going to be very simple. It's for people who are barely starting to, you know, get into the weight loss. And then once you pass this, there's a more intense routine that I'm going to go ahead and give you guys. And once you're done with that, you can also use the easy one to just stay toned, which is what I do now. So one thing that I do want to tell you is about weighing yourself i don't know about you guys but for me being on a scale can boost my mood or it can make me feel like shit. so there is one piece of advice that i personally could recommend and i feel like it's the best so when you weigh yourself you want to make sure it's at the same time same conditions same everything what i mean is that when i weigh myself personally i do it in the morning about an hour after I wake up, that way my body is already alive, I've already moved around, I've done stuff, and before I eat. After I eat, I will look like I gained weight because your body is now holding food. So that's when I prefer to weigh myself. If you'd rather prefer to weigh yourself, let's say, after breakfast, make sure you weigh yourself every time after breakfast. If you want to weigh yourself after a workout, make sure you always do it after a workout. A good example is that, like I said, I weigh 125. When I step on the scale in the morning, I'll see like 125. It'll tell me my body fat and everything like that. Which if you're wondering right now, my body fat is quite high. It is at a 23.9%, so I'm trying to get that down. So it'll tell me that. I went out to eat. I came home and I weighed myself after that. It said I gained 10 pounds. I know I did not gain no fucking 10 pounds by going out to eat once. So, of course, in the morning, I weighed myself at its usual time, and I went back to my regular weight, 125. So, just make sure that it is consistent whenever you do weigh yourself. You want to be very consistent with all the conditions considered. If you want to just make things easier, do what I said. When you wake up, after you brush your teeth, you take your morning caca, you wash your face, you drop your kids off at school, you come home, then you weigh yourself. Then you work out, and then you eat. And then you don't worry about waiting yourself until next morning. You do the same thing again. Okay? I just I just want to say this because I know that especially like when you're trying out and you see that increase like so quickly, it's it's gonna break your heart. So just, just 
just just listen to me okay i'm gonna talk really quick about the workout because the workout is very simple so this is gonna be what you want to do to get you started this is gonna help you not only feel better about yourself but it's gonna give you more energy you're gonna feel lighter you're gonna want to like jump up and down you know because it's super simple it is so freaking simple girl do it now i'm just gonna say this flat out okay I do not want to hear these excuses. Oh, I got a baby, so I can't do that. I don't got money for gym, so I can't go to the gym. No one will watch my kids, so I can't go work out at the gym. Girl, you're so lucky. I can never go and do something like that because I'm always so busy. No, 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 no. That's pussy shit. That's excuses and that shit that I don't want to fucking hear. If you're going to be like that, bye. Click the X. Go, go, go over there. I don't need you. You don't need me, honey. If you're in that mindset, you're going to fail, okay? This workout takes 10 minutes max. 10 minutes max. And that's whenever you're taking rest in between, which I don't do. But if you're going to start, I go ahead and take the rest in between. So this workout can be done at home on Je floor, on je carpet, anywhere. Okay, I have kids. I have two boys, very, very young. And like I said, I started doing this after second baby. So when I would be there doing crunches, homeboy would come and lay on me. Guess what? That's added weight and that will help you out, honey. Okay, get the little baby, put it on your belly, do your sit ups. Put the baby on the back, do some push-ups. There's no push-ups in this easy workout routine though, just, just letting you know. No excuses, honey. If you put them down to bed, do it. If they're out in school, do it. If you need to wake up 10 minutes early to do it, do it. No one's gonna hold your hand through this. This is just a guide. I'm not there to hold your hand. I'm there to tell you what it is that you can do and that will benefit you. It's up to you to have that motivation, that drive, and the want to go ahead and do it. If you don't have that, if you're lazy, it's not gonna work out for you. No one's gonna do it for you. You need to do it yourself. And honestly, like, that is why starting off slow is so crucial. Once you do this workout, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I got it. Got it. I can do this. I can do this. So this simple workout routine, I'm going to tell you really quick about it. First of all, I learned it when I was in ROTC in PT days. So my PT coach, whatever, the sergeant, he told us this routine. If you do this, what he told me is something that I really, really took to heart. He said, if you're not able to work out every day if you were to do this 10 minute workout your body will stay toned and i took that to heart i still do it to this day but i did add few workouts in there and i did increase the number so that i can see better results a little bit quicker so let's go ahead and just get on into the workout i'm going to explain to you what it is that i'm going to do and then i'll try to insert a clip of me actually doing it so what I like to do is the following. I'll do 30 crunches, 30 bridges, 30 hill toes, and you want to do like one, two, three. Don't be like one, two, three, four, five. That's cheating, bitch. Don't do that. You want to do 30 bridges, 30 bicycle crunches. Again, one, two, not one, two, three. We don't take cheaters here, bitch. We don't do that. <laughs> 30 bridges. 30 lower abdominal crunches or a reverse crunch and then 30 bridges and you're done. Now, if you count that quick mouse, that's four minutes right there. That's four minutes. Okay. But we'll save 10 minutes just, just to give you that room. So that is what I currently do at this moment right now because I'm already in the process of maintaining my weight loss. So this is something great for beginners because you've never worked out before. You are not that active, nothing like that, you know what I mean? So this right here may seem like a lot for a beginner, but trust me, it's not. It's very quick, very simple, very easy, and I'll show you guys in the clip, like I said. Now, if you're a beginner, you may wanna add 10 second rest in between. So 30 crunches, rest for 10 seconds. 30 bridges, rest for 10 seconds. 
30 heel toes. Rest for 10 seconds. And be fucking free to mix it up. If you'd rather do a bicycle crunch first, then do so. But the bridges in between each ab workout really helps me out personally because I get to just lay there and just lift my booty. So to me, that's like a rest. So if it's not to you, then feel free to add 10 seconds. Only 10 seconds. You want to maintain your heart rate so that your body knows that you're trying to burn off the fat. If you rest there, let's say for 30 seconds in between, your heart rate's gonna drop and then your body's just gonna think like, oh, she just took a longer walk today. Or, oh, she's just cleaning up more than usual. Like, oh, she's, she's a little more active than usual. You wanna keep that heart rate. You wanna maintain it so that your body actually burns off the fat. If you are a beginner, go ahead and do at the 10 second rest and then once you feel more comfortable remove that 10 second rest and rely on the bridges as your rest because you're not working out your abs you're working out your bum at that time so this right here will work out this part the little boobies that come right here you know what i'm talking about it will also work out your hourglass this little part right here and it will also work out your little muffin top and it will also work out your booty and your thighs which, I mean, come on, girl. You got it. I can't stress this enough is that you want your body to know that you are trying to work out. You do want to make sure that your body knows what it is that you're doing. If you start resting too much, you're not going to see any results. And you're basically just wasting your time. So you don't want to waste your time. You want to make sure that you get that workout. You want to feel the burn. Now, of course, like there's many different ways that you can slack on working out. When doing sit-ups, you can crunches. Crunches are like the easiest thing to fucking do. A sit-up is so much harder, so I'm giving you crunches. You're strong, you can do this, okay? Us women, like we're so fucking powerful. We go through so fucking much. If you can bleed out of your vagina once a month, or if you're a regular like me, whenever God wants to go ahead and punish you, if you can give out two little babies out of your little if you can fucking get tattoos, if you can get piercings, if you can do all that shit, you can do a scrunch, okay? You're gonna be fine, honey. You can do it. You can do it. Trust me, you can do it. And if you have self-doubt in yourself, get it out of there. Get it out of there. Because once you start seeing the results, you're gonna be so happy with yourself. Trust me. You're gonna feel so much better, so much more energy. So trust me when I say that, okay? So whenever you do your crunches and stuff, you want to make sure that you are actually activating your stomach muscles. And I know you're going to be like, what the fuck? How do you fucking do that? You can tighten your belly. So you know how like whenever you're over exaggerated and you push out your gut, you can tighten it up, tighten it up and then do those crunches. When you do crunches, make sure that you're actually going up. You don't want to like lay your head on your hands and then use your hands to do it. Sometimes I'll just do this and not even like support my head. But I know that for beginners, you're going to want to do this. Don't, don't do this, okay? Don't do that. <laughs> hold your muscles, hold your body accountable to go up, okay? Don't do none of that rocking motion. If you can feel your body rocking back and forth on the ground or the carpet or the yoga mat, you're doing it wrong, honey, okay? You wanna make sure that you're crunching and not, is that making sense? Here's the thing, you wanna do this five times a week. My recommendation, my preference is Monday through Friday. Weekends are my days off. Don't mess with me on weekends, okay? Weekends, I eat pizzas. Again, portions, honey. I eat like two slices and maybe like a cheese bread or something. So that's what I eat. Um, I'll go out to eat sometimes at Chili's, but I don't finish my meal. I don't always finish it. I'll bring it home and then my husband can finish it later. Um, so portions is a very, very, very key and we're going to get into food in a minute. Whenever you're done with this and let's say, okay, you've already did the 30 set rep you've already did the 30 set you took out your rest and you're still now you feel like what's the next step now you want to do two reps now you want to do 60 okay so you do your 30s you can rest for 15 seconds and then you do it again so you want to kick it up a notch 
and then when you're done with that you can go into the more intense workout now I want to prepare you for this one okay because this is intense this is intense this is like boot camp right here okay do not skip the 30 sets with 10 second rest and then the 30 set itself and then you do the 30 set with the 15 second and then you do it again so you want to do two reps so that there is the three stages of the easy workout routine let's go ahead and talk about the more intense workout routine i.e boot camp so let me tell you really really quick i did this when my body was ready and i was ready physically and i had about 45 minutes to an hour to kill now you want to start with 30 minute cardio cardio is the best thing ever ever to help you lose weight running is my go to so if you can't afford it i recommend buying a treadmill we have it i have a treadmill it's actually not in this room because it would not fit through the door but i do have a treadmill and i utilize that baby speed walking just walking in general you want to get that heart pumping it burns fat without building too much muscle so that is my go-to and there's different ways that you can do it when i was younger i couldn't afford a treadmill i didn't have a treadmill my mom actually gave me my treadmill it's actually her treadmill she wants it back in april and <laughs> i don't think that's gonna happen mama um there's different ways to go ahead and incorporate cardio you can do jumping jacks you can do jumping rope you can even do this and it's kind of embarrassing but you can run in place and yeah i know it's embarrassing that is how you get your heartbeat pumping and guess what that's your warm-up honey boot camp we don't fuck around in boot camp then you're gonna want to do two sets of 200 crunches i said that right two sets of 200 crunches again do not start this workout if you are not ready then you're gonna rest for 30 seconds then you're gonna do 60 lunge crunches which are horrible which is why i only put 60. then you're gonna rest for 30 seconds you're gonna do 100 reverse crunches i.e the lower abdomen abdominal crunches then you're gonna rest for a minute because by this time i am fucking tired then the fuck up bitch because we're gonna do 100 squats and i prefer to use the bar i don't know if you can see it right there that's my bar those are my weights then you're gonna wanna do 60 fire hydrant kicks. And again, 60 on this leg, 60 on this leg. And this is, this is gonna, you're gonna feel the intense right here. It's gonna burn right here. But you know what? It's gonna get rid of the, here comes Haley, here comes Haley, here comes Haley. If you watch American Dad, you know where that's from. After that, you're gonna wanna do 60 push ups. Said it right. 60 push ups, baby. And again, if you have children, right here, get on mama's back okay and then you really want to be an og you're gonna want to do a one minute plank then you're done drink some water pass out over there i've done it now again i cannot stress how important it is to pace yourself and to listen to your body you're, you'll know when you're ready to take that next step and I can't say this enough because I know that there's some stubborn people out there who are watching this and are like now I want to see results now so fuck that easy routine and I'm gonna go straight for the boot camp you're gonna give up I give you two weeks you're gonna give up you know how I know because I did it you're gonna give up you don't want to set yourself up for failure. I'm trying to set you up for success. I'm trying to help you out. You know, we are all here for the same reason. So I'm trying to set you up for success. Start with a simple workout routine and then go ahead and jump here. If you're already incorporating a little bit of workout routine, then start the easy workout routine with 30 sets. If you feel like you can go ahead and do again, do the 15 minute rest and then do your second rep. Once you're done with that, then you go ahead and come out, come to the boot camp little section. Because I'm going to tell you this right now. Me, I'm already in that stage where I'm maintaining my weight loss. 
but this boot camp shit will fuck you up honey it will and then once you feel like you're good with boot camp you can do this you want to raise your cardio up to 45 minutes to an hour then instead of doing two sets of 200 sit-ups you want to do two sets of a thousand sit-ups then you want to also go ahead and change that 60 bicycle crunches to 100 bicycle crunches we don't play here we do not play here and we do not fuck around okay so we take things fucking seriously on my channel except well when it comes to workout and health because again i'm so tired of hearing excuses i'm so tired of hearing pussy shit okay i don't fucking do that here if you're gonna give me that shit like oh i wish i was like you but i have kids and i can't do this or i can't afford a gym membership all of these workouts that i'm telling you you can do at home honey you can do when your kids taking a nap you can do when your kids at school you can wake up 30 minutes early and shove this shit up in there that did not that's what she said so i'm just saying excuses are for the weak and only the strong will survive and i feel like as us as women we're very very powerful so we are all strong so why shouldn't we all survive the only reason why you wouldn't survive is that if you're not listening to my steps and taking it step by step pacing yourself if you just overdo it you're not only gonna fuck yourself up and set yourself up for failure you're also gonna overexert yourself and your body can just give out you don't want that you want to be healthy you want to be happy you want to have energy so take things slow okay take things take it slow and listen to your body and whenever you are ready to go ahead and step to boot camp step to boot camp now i'm sorry if i'm coming off a little strong in this video i just hear so much shit all the time just so much excuses and I'm over it. If I can do it, you can too. I hate to say this, but I have two boys with special needs, two special needs children. If I can go ahead and incorporate it into my daily life, why can't you? Really, like why, why can't you? I don't understand. You got an infant baby? Put this baby right here on your chest. Love it and squeeze it and make sure that you have a hold and do your crunches with that baby right here take that baby on the journey with you because mama has to take care of herself too you can't take care of your baby if you don't take care of yourself if you don't have money for the gym do it in your freaking living room do it in your beauty room do it wherever you can wherever the fuck you want do it on the kitchen floor do it on the patio do it on your deck do it on the grass do it wherever it is that you can because the beginner workout is only six to ten minutes so enough excuses it stops now especially if you want to take things seriously so that aside let's talk about food girl so i am a mutt okay i am mexican and i am also native so i love je food i love food i love food okay so i'm not gonna diet like i said i'm not gonna diet i did that shit when i was 16 and basically developed an eating disorder so i'm not doing that again no 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 not for me not for this girl if you want to diet feel free but i will let you know that if all you eat is salad you're gonna get hungry again very very soon because lettuce expands in the belly and makes you feel like you're full and then when you got it out you're hungry again so i wouldn't recommend dieting but if it works for you boo do you if you want to count carbs do you honey if you want to count calories do you bitch if you want to count whatever it is that you're putting up in your belly do you the only thing that i'm counting right now is my portions that's just me okay i'm gonna tell you this again i cannot stress how important it is to portion yourself now if you're eating smaller portions you may get hungry throughout the day especially if you're barely starting i got snacks for you girl i got snacks for you i got you bitch i i got you i really do <laughs> so balance is definitely key too so what this means is that if you go hard for breakfast you want to go light for lunch and eh, on dinner if you'd rather go hard for dinner you know you're gonna go out to eat you're gonna fucking eat and eat it up go lighter on the breakfast and lunch also 
I know I said this, I do got the snacks for you, but don't be going snacking on junk food. Junk food is very, 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 very tempting. I know this, and it's also cheap, which is why it's bad for you. Another thing, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you eat out all the time, you're gonna look like you eat out all the time. It's like they say, you are what you eat, right? So I'd rather cook at home. I cook all the time. I cook breakfast, I cook lunch, I cook dinner. I make snacks, I cook. And the reason why I do this is so that I can see what it is that I'm putting onto the plate. Now, I don't recommend Hamburger Helper, Velveeta boxes, box dinners. I don't recommend that because there's always extra added preservatives, food dyes, just a lot of ingredients that you don't even know what the fuck it means. So I would stay away from that and do it handmade. A quick example is like, let's say you do make Hamburger Helper, okay? Don't get the box from Hamburger Helper because if you read the ingredients, it's like this long. Buy wheat pasta, buy ground beef, and then make your own sauce. You know, if you don't know how to cook, there's Pinterest, there's YouTube. My people like us are here for you. Mm -hmm. If you do want a cooking video, please leave it in the description or in the comments below and I'll go ahead and get started on cooking videos for you guys to help you out. But I'm gonna go ahead and give you basically like a list of things that I eat to help you out. And if you would rather see videos on how it is that I prepare it, let me know in the comments below and I can go ahead and do so so I know which specific meals that you want to see. Again, I do recommend cooking or making things fresh or whatever and it may take a little extra time, but you know what? Standing up is so much better than sitting down. So whenever you are cooking, just think about it like this. I'm standing up, I'm doing good for my body. That's why they make stand-up desk. You know that? Because it's better for your body. Cause sitting down, you end up doing this. And then you look, it's bad for your posture. You wanna sit up. It'll give you the appearance that you're slimmer. So just try to think of the positive things, you know, instead of buying out food and, oh, here's my food, I'm sitting in the car and I picked it up and then I'm sitting down and I'm eating it. No, you are standing up, you're walking to the fridge to get this, you're putting it over here on the dinner and on the fucking pad, then you're walking back to the fridge. So just try to be positive and think positive, positively. So let's say I have this, instead of just leaving it here, whatever walk to the trash can in the kitchen throw it away I got a trash can right here I do but I have a strict rule of no food no drinks in this room so or in this trash can anyways so take it and walk it over there that's extra calories that you burn it adds up it will add up trust me when I say this it adds up and it helps you out so with this being said the last thing that I want to say before that we get started with the meals is that you only want to eat when you are hungry. Not when you think that you should eat. Not, I usually eat at this time, so I'm going to go ahead and eat. I don't normally feel hungry, but I usually eat by now, so I'm going to go ahead and eat. No, 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 no. You want to eat when you are hungry. 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 When your belly's telling you, I'm hungry. That's when you want to eat. I'm just gonna start really quick with the things that I do not eat. I don't drink sodas, especially diet, okay? Diet soda is a lie. It's a lie. Artificial sweeteners are really bad for you and even worse than regular sugar. Your body does not digest it properly because it knows what regular sugar is and that artificial shit is just sticking to your fat in your belly. So stay away from diet soda. If you're gonna have a soda, get Coke Zero or just get a regular fucking Coke. But again, I do recommend that you just cut it out of your life as well as coffee. I said it right, coffee. I do not drink coffee. I don't even drink tea. I don't drink anything caffeinated because that's false energy. It is. You end up becoming very reliable on that caffeine, anything caffeinated to give you energy. And again, you end up setting yourself up for failure because if you don't have it, you're grumpy, you don't feel like doing anything. So it's just best to cut.
cut it out of your diet or let's say you drink like five cups of coffee a day try to wing down until you can get it out of your diet i also do not eat chocolate i don't like chocolate so it helps but chocolate is very bad for you it also has caffeine in it but do you boo do you if it's that time of the month sometimes i do crave chocolate but in all honesty i haven't eaten chocolate in like months i mean it and i don't do cake i don't i don't do cake or ice cream i don't do that shit at all if i want something sweet i'll talk to you about that shit later but those are things that i do not eat right now i just don't i i don't really eat that stuff <laughs> i'm sorry i know it's kind of like a trigger for some of you guys but just try it and you'll feel better after after you go through that phase of missing it you'll feel better okay so let's talk about the food breakfast again i'm a fucking creature of habit guys i'm a creature of habit so when i find something i like i will eat that shit for weeks weeks that's bad for you you want to switch shit up so i'm going to give you around five different breakfast options that you can go ahead and switch between so let's say you like something a lot you can eat it for three days for breakfast but then switch it up for the rest of the week and then next week's a different story you know you want to switch it up okay so my main thing right now is avocado toast i thought i was gonna hate that shit it looks gross it looks disgusting but it's fucking delicious bitch it is it's so good mm, my mouth is getting watery right now just thinking about it i want that food but i'm not hungry so i ain't gonna eat so my thing is i do two avocado toast with an egg on each one that is a lot like that fills me up that that fills me up now if that's not enough for you add some fruit that's your breakfast and to me that's going hard because most people will only make one with a little eggy but like i said i'm latina and i love my food so i do too and that's all i'll eat at the beginning i would want something more so i would put some like fruits like strawberries is my main thing strawberries but i've learned that i would not finish my toast so i would just eat the toast first and then i would have my berries left and i would just save that for a snack for later you can also eat tacos but instead of eating like three or four tacos eat two two bean and cheese two chorizo and eggs two whatever unless it's barbacoa then i only recommend one because <laughs> that's not good for you as well as chicharrones and stuff like that if you're gonna do it just do one chicharrones or one carne asada or one whatever and then another with like eggs because you do want that protein you want you you want you want to be smart you want balance okay and feel free to use corn tortillas i use flour again i love food i love food it is what it is so i recommend at least two tacos i mean at most two tacos but me personally i'll just settle for one because tacos aren't my jam another thing for breakfast if you want to go a little lighter because you're going to go hard on dinner is a fruit cup now i like fruit cups i do mango pineapple grapes strawberries sometimes kiwi really really good they can even be already prepared for you at heb but it's expensive so just prepare it yourself there you go and chances are that whenever you are making your food the aromas that you sniff in sometimes will trick your body that you ate so you'll eat less so instead of just going and preparing like, i'm so fucking hungry and you already have it there and you just eat it all up if you actually you know make it and shit your body will smell the aroma and just Sometimes, like, I don't know if you if you do this, but if you're somebody who cooks and you cook, by the time it's ready, even though you didn't pick at it, you're just not hungry anymore. Like, that's me, and I never understood why until somebody explained to me that it's the aromas that I'm smelling. I'm smelling that food, so my mind is tricking my body into thinking that I'm eating. Now, of course, I still eat because I know that I'm hungry. I can hear my belly growling. I'm just not as hungry anymore. So, it's a little, you know something to take in 
And then, of course, another good thing to eat is oatmeal on toast. I don't do any more than two toasts. And then for the oatmeal, I just do like the little packets. You can buy the big thingy and do like one scoop, like one cupful, whatever it is that you want to do. But do not fill the bowl up. Okay. Portions, honey, portions. And the last thing that is so freaking easy, and if you're short on time, are smoothies. They're so good. They are really, really filling. I don't know about you, but I'm the type of person that I will get full off of a drink. I don't know why. It's one of the reasons why I cut out sodas. If I were to drink a soda, I would not be hungry anymore. So smoothies are actually quite filling. So yeah, they are quite filling, which is why I recommend them for a breakfast when you want it on a light day. Now smoothies can be made different ways. My favorite is just throwing a shit ton of vegetables and a little bit of spinach. I don't know, people are like, Spinach. Oh. If you add just a little bit, you can't even fucking taste it. All it does is dye your drink. And spinach is one of like the best things that you can eat. So those are my breakfast ideas. Again, it's kinda light, kinda heavy. Avocado toast is my favorite right now, and I love that shit. Now today for breakfast, I went a little bit harder. I ate the jalapeno and cheese sausage. I cut that shit up, threw it on the pan with some tomatoes and a little bit of serrano peppers and a little bit of onion. No tortillas today, honey. I would have so had tortillas, but I was out. I, was, I didn't have my ace or anything like that, so I had to eat toast. It was still was good, still freaking good. And again, portion. So instead of eating the entire link of sausage, I ate a fourth of it so portions honey you can have your good foods and eat them you just want to be very smart with portions however if you're starting this right now i don't recommend to eat crazy things like i did right now so yeah so those are the five breakfasts that i recommend again let me know if you want to see a how to make in the comments below so the next thing is lunch. Before I do get started, I want you to know that lunch really isn't my thing. I don't, I usually skip lunch because I'm working through it. So one of the things that I do like to have if I, like let's say I had a smoothie, I'll eat a sandwich. I love fucking sandwiches. I normally like did not like sandwiches, but I will eat a sandwich. If you feel like a sandwich is not filling enough, add lettuce, add tomatoes, add cheese, add stuff in there for you you know don't add turkey bacon if you want to but like don't overdo it with the slices do like two slices cut it up and put it in there and then you got a blt me like i said i'm picky as fuck i get the thin ass ham for like 80 cents that you can get at your grocery stores i put miracle whip and i'm so picky dude there was a time where i didn't like miracle whip i didn't like mayonnaise and i needed some kind of spread but then it just turned out to be like now I'm cool with Miracle Whip. So I put that on both sides of the bread, the little skinny ass ham. I'll do like two to three slices, close that shit, grab a handful of hot cheetos, and I'm good. I'm good, honey. Again, portion is key. So if you're gonna have hot cheetos, handful, only a handful, not, a, not this, a handful. And take it out of the bag. If you leave your Cheetos in the bag, you're just gonna Next thing you know, you ate the entire bag. Don't do that. Put it on your plate. The next thing that I like to do is again, fruit cups. Fruit cups are just fucking amazing. They're good for breakfast, they're good for lunch, and they're even good for snacks. So you might see it in my snacks too. And I do this because it's all about balance. If you went hard on breakfast, having a fruit cup for lunch would be very beneficial for you. So you want to know balance, which is why I'm giving you a variety. The next thing that I recommend is a veggie bowl. And you're probably like, what the fuck is a fucking veggie bowl? I'll tell you what a veggie bowl is. Now, sometimes when I'm hungry and I want to eat something, but I, again, fruits are not my, not, they're not really my forte. I'd rather eat a vegetable. Green beans and broccoli are my go-to. What I'll do is I'll saute it. I'll put it in there with a little bit of olive oil, put them in there and saute with some salt and pepper. And it gives it a welt almost. And it just tastes so good with that salt and pepper. It's not like fresh out of the can or 
you know, fresh out of the bag or, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Or what you can go ahead and do is have veggies and ranch. And this is a little tricky because again, you don't want to go hard with the ranch. It's not that great for you. But celery and ranch is my favorite. So yeah, you burn those calories, won't you, Marianne? Got you. So yes, you can do whatever you want though. If you like carrots, eat carrots. If you like something else, eat something else. I know that they even sell, like you can get green beans before you saute them, like the actual green beans. You can do that as well. You can do whatever you want, but my recommendation is to stick with greens with ranch, like celery, broccoli, or even carrots. Those are my main things. Now, let's say you want something a little, um, like if that's just not enough, you have to remember this. You're working to lose weight. So you're gonna have to sacrifice some things. And unfortunately, that's just how it is. So again, lunch isn't my thing at all. It's, it's just not. So if I'm gonna have lunch, I don't snack. But if I don't have lunch, I will snack. So I'm gonna tell you my snacks in a minute. And honestly, they kind of the same, but I have more options for snacks for you. You ready, boo? So the first thing, you guys are probably gonna be like, oh, let's say you want to eat some, some chips, right? Eat, my favorite go-to is Doritos with spinach dip. I live in Tejas, Texas, so there's an H-E-B. They have the spinach dip there in the bakery or like that little, kitchen side thing i don't know what it's called they have the spinach dip that shit sells out so fucking fast they gotta make like a lot a day so grab that spinach dip and let me tell you it's not horrible if you're not a spinach person wes is not a spinach person at all and he'll dip into it he's like if you don't think about it that it's spinach it doesn't taste bad like yeah it does not taste bad at all it's it's fucking delicious and there's actual people who do crave it i crave it and some people that I know crave it as well. And it kind of surprised me that other people eat that shit too. <laughs> really. But it's, it's good for you. And the spinach dip is kind of good for you. And if you want like Doritos or something like that, you know. Mix the tool. And again, portions. Grab a handful. Put it in a bowl. Get your spinach dip. Go watch some YouTube. My channel. So yeah. Another snack would be the veggies and ranch. Another one would be peanuts. Again, my favorite is honey roasted peanuts. Too much peanuts can be bad for you. It's a great source of protein, but too much can be a little bit bad for you. So again, pour it, go. Cause this is snacks, okay? Snacks is just like when you're a little hungry, but you're not super hungry to eat an entire meal, then this will come in handy for you. Another thing you can do is Kind of like make your own Lunchable. So get some crackers. My favorite is the club crackers. But you can do wheat crackers, which I like too. I like wheat. I don't know. It's better for you. But sometimes I want the regular crackers because they taste like butter. So I'll get that. Feel free to cut you up some ham. Some whatever it is that you want. But I prefer to cut little cubes of cheese. So I get the black cheese. The one with reduced fat. Cut two slices cut that into squares so i got my crackers i got my cheese and if i'm fucking still like want a little bit more get a little bit of peanuts and i'm good now a next thing that you can do is like if you want to have something sweet feel free to have something sweet if you want to have a slice of cheesecake do the slice of cheesecake but don't be that person that is like oh it's only a slice so i'm gonna cut a slice this big <laughs> no there goes your pro there goes your progress don't do that honey don't do that you're gonna feel a lot better if you just like stick your ground you're gonna feel so much better like yeah you know what i've been doing good and i'm fucking proud of myself and save those fucking urges for cheat day which is saturday and let me just say this really quick, because I don't think I mentioned it. Cheat day does not give you a pass to eat the entire 
buggy menu, okay? You still want to be a little bit smart about it. You're just eating things that you wouldn't eat throughout the week. A good thing that I would also recommend is baked chips. Baked chips are obviously better than regular chips. They have baked hot Cheetos, which are fucking good. They have the baked chips that have like sour cream and onion. Those are fucking good. I believe they're the Ritz brand. Amazing! Again, portion. So you can have what you want, just eat it in a portion. And the last thing, which you kind of going to be like, what the fuck, is cereal. Cereal is not one of the best things that you can eat. It's not. They have Special K with some strawberries. It's eh, you know. They have granola that you can put in there. It's eh, you know. But if I'm going to have cereal, I'm going to get me some Crave. Because it has a little chocolate in there. And I normally am not supposed to be eating chocolate, so... Don't eat cereal every day though, because remember you want to mix it up. You don't want to, you don't want to overdo it. Or I'll have some cinnamon toast crunch. Or my favorite, fucking favorite, is the what the fuck? Frosted flakes. I don't know why I was gonna say fruity pebbles. It's frosted flakes. And if I want a little bit more filling in there, add a fruit. So if you're eating, let's say raisin bran, and you want something in there, cut up some strawberries. There you go. If you're eating Frosted Flakes, my favorite, get half a banana or the whole fucking banana. Bananas aren't my favorite, so I'll just do half a banana. And I'll put it in there. Mix it up. There you go, girl. You're going to be full today. So there goes that. Now, again, make sure that you're pouring it into a place so that you can see what you're eating. If you eat straight from the bag, next thing you know, you eat the entire bag and you do not want to do that because then guilt comes into place. And I'm trying to prepare you for success, not failure. So just try to listen to my advice. I know it can be hard and it's a little strict, but I'm here to help you out. Now for dinner. <laughs> dinner? something that I go hard on so like I said I don't do lunch and I don't really snack too much because I go hard on breakfast I kind of go hard on dinner too um again portions I know I'm saying I go hard but for me it's because I will eat whatever I want basically for dinner but the key thing is to cook it at home to prepare it yourself so you see what it is that you're going that's going in there don't do packages don't buy the packet of chicken no you know why you know what they're putting in that packet of chicken right they're putting all the leftover fucking meat that nobody wants don't do that get the chicken breasts or the chicken tenders or the quitlets or whatever buy the pack of chicken like the actual pack of chicken breast cut it up yourself what i do i buy the big one i open it up i buy the freezer ziplocs bag and i put two breasts in here for one day two breasts in here for the other day freezer write the expiration date on it so that when i'm ready I can take it out in the morning and make my dinner that's what i do saves you money too now one of my favorites right now is veggie soup i know you're like what the fuck the veggie soup is so fucking filling because i add potatoes in there and i add So not only am I getting my celery, my zucchini, my onion, some cabbage, and all this other stuff that you put in there, but I also add yellow potatoes. You can do red, I prefer yellow. And yellow potatoes are obviously better than you than the regular potatoes. You can do sweet potatoes, but it's gonna taste a little weird and I don't like sweet potatoes. So yellow potatoes, and I'll add a little bit of carne. You can do steak, you can do whatever you want. I prefer, Sorry, I prefer bis brisket because it just melts. So that's what I do. So I have my bowl of soup. You know, it's like a regular bowl. It's not this big. It's like a bowl. It's like a regular bowl of soup. And then for my side, because your girl likes to munch sometimes, I'll get a little bit of Doritos with my spinach dip. You can substitute the Doritos with spinach dip for some crackers instead. But you want to portion yourself out and take be smart about it okay be smart about what you're putting into your body your body is a temple okay i'm not even freaking playing when it says that it says it in the bible your body is a temple okay so you need to take care of it another soup that i love which is a little 
kind of, how do you say, a treat is broccoli and cheese soup. I know you're like, what the fuck, another soup? Soup is actually very filling. And the fact that it has cheese in it, <laughs> that's not that great for you, but I love it. And instead of eating Doritos and spinach dip, I'll eat crackers with it. And I love crackers. So I like literally need to take the box from me and just have my own, but that is super good. And I eat these two things. They are very filling, but whenever I do actually eat like a lot of breakfast and I'll eat some snacks or lunch and I'm not really that hungry but I'm hungry I'll eat the soups so the next thing that we're gonna go ahead and talk about I don't even know what it's called but I call it malasa okay you know what I'm talking about if you cook from home you just throw some shit together you end up finding something that's fucking amazing so I call this one malasa I get like some steak cut it up into like chunk, like little squares Throw it in there, add some serrano peppers, add some onions, add some tomatoes, add my seasoning, and then I eat that with two flour tortillas, and that's a fucking amazing dinner. Oh my god, I can't tell you how many people are like, how'd you make that? What'd you make it with? And then I add papas, I don't know if I said that. And that is what I eat it with. Now you can definitely add sour cream, you can add guacamole if you want to, but I don't. I just eat it like that, and I'm good to go. It gets me full as fuck. Say I want to be a little bit fancy and I want to make me some steak. I will make me some steak, honey. Now again, you want to be smart. Don't do this if you had a lot to eat throughout the day. You're just going to feel re regret and guilt. So I will eat some steak with some grilled onions. They're my fucking favorite. And instead of a big ass steak, I'll get the smaller steak for me. Grilled onions. I will get one scoop of mashed papas. And some corn that's my dinner and oh my god is it fucking good mm. the next dinner that I like to eat is chipotle chicken you know you guys are thinking like what the fuck chipotle chicken <laughs> yeah when I have like a lighter breakfast I'll eat chipotle chicken I don't make as much of the chicken because I want more mashed potatoes so I'll make a little bit of chipotle chicken I'll make chicken you know add my seasoning to make it chipotle chicken then I'll saute my green beans fucking love them sauteed and I'll get two scoops of mashed potatoes and and a handful of hot Cheetos don't do this if you went hard throughout the day though obviously you want to go lighter on the dinner if you had heavier meals throughout the day or heavier on the dinner when you have lighter meals throughout the day. I usually eat dinner around seven o'clock because I want time for the food to digest. I don't want it just to sit there and then I go to sleep or anything like that. So I need time for the food to digest. I eat at seven, you know, do my thing at night and then I usually go to bed around 10 or 10 30 because I'm a granny. So, and then the last meal that I will make, or am, I'm telling you about, there's so many meals that I make. There's really just <laughs> so many. But the last one that I do recommend is stir fry. Now, I recommend this because it's Chinese food, basically. So, there's different ways to make Chinese food. You can definitely look up recipes. I like to use a little bit of flour and a little bit of brown sugar. And I mean a little bit. A little bit you don't want because I don't know if you notice this but whenever you make homemade Chinese food and you use those ingredients and you leave it there it starts it settles right and then when you do this to the pan it just jiggles you don't want that in your stomach so a little bit goes a long way so my favorite is the chicken and then I'll add broccoli to it I'll add a little bit of mushrooms you know the seasonings that you need to add just a little bit of soy sauce don't go too ham on it do not go too ham on it and honestly that's all i'll eat sometimes if i'm feeling super fancy i'll make myself an egg roll or those little rag those cheese ragoons but i'll only eat two of those cheese ragoons and one egg roll and I don't normally eat the egg roll and that's because I like the main meal itself that I'd rather have more of the main meal than any size so it's up to you if you want a side eat less of the main meal you know portions and balance is key 
So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I gave you a beginner workout routine. I gave you a boot camp routine. I gave you breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snack ideas with at least five in each category. Again, if you want any other recommended videos, just leave them down below in the comments and I can go ahead and get started because you guys know that I take recommendations seriously. I don't know why I'm so weird right now. Now, as I said in the beginning of the video, I am not here to hold your hand. I am here to set you up for success and give you the advice and steps that I personally have taken that helped me and has benefited me as well as my friends. Some of my friends do what I do and let me tell you, they've lost weight. So I'm over here helping you because not only was it recommended, thank you. I thought that it would be a great video to also share as well because I know that there's a lot of people out there that can be struggling and I feel like this video is very informative. I give you workouts, I give you food plans, and if you want, I can go ahead and do cooking videos for you too. So although I am not here to hold your hand, I am not here to baby you, I'm here to put positive thoughts into your head to tell you that you can do it because I know you can obviously do it and I gave you ways to work around certain things like not being able to go to the gym and having children which are the two main things that I hear now of course if you have heart conditions don't do the boot camp routine stay with the other routine if you have certain medical conditions that makes you think that you can't do certain things talk to your doctor first if you feel like you can't do it because of that, you need to talk to your doctor first. Don't go do this and then something bad happened to you. Talk to your doctor first. And if for any reasons, you know, you think some things are not going to work out for you, go ahead and substitute it for something else. But try to stay healthy with it. I'm not saying substitute a fruit bowl for an entire bowl of hot Cheetos because that's bad for you. But if you rather have the veggies over the fruit bowl, then do so. If you don't like broccoli, but you'd rather have carrots, do that. I don't like carrots, so I eat broccoli. If you don't like green beans, but you like corn, do that. It is up to you to take charge of your life, and it is up to you to take the steps ne needed and necessary to go ahead and change your weight. Now, this video is entirely strictly based on weight and I do know that weight is a touchy subject it definitely is I am the type of person that does not put up well with somebody calling somebody else fat or anything like that I am I don't I don't I don't mm -mm. so there will be no fat shaming here nothing like that because at the end of the day we all need to start somewhere we do we just have different starting points so this is what I did to lose 40 pounds. And let me tell you, because I know you guys are probably wondering, how long did it take? How long did it take? It took me about three months to lose 40 pounds. And some of you may think that it's quite drastic and some of you may not think that it's quite drastic, but I think that it was a good steady pace for my particular body. I have always been very athletic, so my body was ready to shed those pounds. Now, let me tell you, if you're a bigger girl, men, whatever, and I will say that men do lose weight a lot faster than women, so that's why I feel like this plan here is actually dedicated towards women because everybody that I know that have tried this have been a woman, especially me, I'm a woman, but I feel like men can do this too. There's no excluding here. Try it out and let us know in the comments below how it works out for you. But I do wanna say, so if you are a bigger girl or man, woman, gentlemen, whatever, anything in between, anything outside the box, whatever, if you're a bigger person, human, alien, I personally have found that the weight loss will be extreme, especially if you take it seriously. So you may actually lose more weight than I did within the three months period. And good for you, bitch. Good for you. Keep it up. You may lose a little bit less, and that's fine. Don't be upset. Don't be upset at all. What you should do is kick it up a notch. That means that your work, your workout routine needs to be kicked up a notch. Okay? So 
Again, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. That is what I'm here for. I can answer any questions that you guys have. I'm here for you. If you have any recommendations, leave them down in the comments below. Keep in mind to be subscribed and click the little bell button so you can get notified whenever the how to maintain your weight loss video comes up. Because let's say you're already kind of mid point to this video or you're ready to take the next step or you already have encountered the weight loss journey but you have a little trouble maintaining your weight that next video is going to help you out i'm going to tell you how you can go ahead and maintain your weight and how to be happy and healthy in that video i'll go ahead and tell you guys different routines different activities to go ahead and do it's it's a lot it's it's different advice than it is here and it is kind of what I'm doing now to maintain this body, to maintain my weight and to be happy with myself. You know, I'm very happy that I'm back to 125. I'm a short girl. So being short, when you gain weight, it just looks bad. Like you can tell more, you know what I mean? So you can definitely try this out for yourself. Let us know in the comments down below how your progress has been, what works for you, what things you substituted for others. You know, leave a little conversation down in the comments bar. Help everybody out because we're all here to help out each other, right? We're all powerful women, men, aliens, whatever, and humans and everything in between, okay? And let's help each other out. Let's be positive here, but at the same time, no excuses no excuses so thank you guys so much for watching i really really appreciate it don't forget to comment like this video and click the little bell button so that you can get notified as well as subscribe obviously if you want to be shouted out on the next video just leave a comment down below and i'll definitely go ahead and do so i'm going to be starting to do that in all of my videos because i mean why not you support me let me support you so thank you guys again so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye good luck